Okay, so what do we have here? Well, we have a triangle, and we're given that the angles of this triangle is y degrees here. We got y degrees there and three y degrees right here. So the question is, we want to find the actual angles of this particular triangle, and this is actually enough information for you to do that. So what you're going to need here is, of course, some algebra and some uh, skills, some knowledge about triangles and basic geometry. And uh, hopefully most of you out there can do this problem. Now, if you can do this, pause the video, take you all of about maybe 45 seconds, maybe a minute to do. Put your answers uh, into the comment section, but uh, make sure you do the work. Just don't kind of, you know, guess at it, and, you know, so you can justify your um, solutions. But this is a pretty easy problem, and it's a very, very classic type of algebra and geometry problem. You're going to see this over and over again on various quizzes and tests, etc. So not that difficult, but if you're not quite sure how to do it, stick around for a couple minutes. I'm going to walk through exactly how to solve this problem in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But I've been teaching math for decades, and what I really try to do is not come off as a teacher, more as someone who explains math. Because, you know, uh, I don't teach like a textbook. That can be often very confusing for students. I really teach things in, or really explain math in a very, very clear and understandable way so anyone and everyone can learn this stuff. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, I can definitely help you out. Now, if you happen uh, to be preparing for a test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplacer, any sort of college placement, college entrance exam, or maybe a teacher certification exam. I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, um, well, you definitely got to check out my homeschool math courses. I was just voted number one for middle and high school mathematics uh, by a major homeschool publication. Pretty excited about that. And if you need some math notes, um, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. All right, so let's get into this problem. Again, not a difficult problem, but um, one that's going to require some knowledge about triangles. We are dealing with, uh, with triangles, and we want to find the angles of this triangle. So we need to know something about um, angles and triangles. And the thing that you need to know is this. Okay, this is a property of triangles that uh, everyone should know. And that is the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Okay, so the sum of the angles is 180 degrees. In other words, when you add up this angle plus this angle plus this angle in any triangle, you'll come up with 180 degrees. So what do we do with this um, you know, fact right here? Well, what you want to do is use this information to build an equation. Okay, so this is where the algebra part comes into play. So... You can build an equation okay, with this information and this information right here, and then you want to solve for y. So I'm kind of setting this up for you, kind of giving you a hint. So if you're like, oh, okay, I know what to do. Well, if you know what to do, go ahead and um, uh, pause the video and finish it through. But I'm going to get into the actual solution now. Okay, so here we go. Here is our lovely triangle. And again, we know that the sum of the angles of any triangle is 180 degrees. So this plus this plus this, these are angles, it's going to add up to 180. So I'm going to say y. Now I don't need to have that degree uh, symbol there. I can just kind of drop that. But y plus 3y plus this y is equal to 180 degrees. So this is the equation that you want to construct. And now it's going to be up to your basic algebra skills to uh, finish this up. So we have y plus 3y plus y. That gives us 5y's equal to 180 degrees. And then, of course, to solve for y, we just simply have to just divide both sides of the equation by 5. So if any of this stuff is confusing, uh, let me just finish up here, that y is equal to 36. If this is confusing, then you need to go back and review how to solve basic algebra equations. Remember, when you are um, studying geometry at any level, you're going to need to, you're going to, need to uh, know some basic algebra, a pretty decent amount of algebra. So if you're struggling with algebra, you're not going to be able to do these problems. Okay, so y is equal to 36, but we're not done. A lot of students would be so excited. They're like, oh, I can, uh, I see how, you know, to make the equation, I can solve for it. And then just say they stop 
And then they go, here's the answer. Well, no, not uh, exactly. I wanted to know the, all the angles of that triangle. Okay. Well, we know that Y is equal to 36. So these corner angles, this is Y degrees and this is Y degrees. So these are 36 degrees. Okay. But this one up here is 3Y. So we have to actually... Uh, go ahead and calculate this out. So 3 times y, again, y is 36. So 3 times 36 is 108. Okay, so this angle, that uh, obtuse angle there is 108 degrees. And let's just kind of add up these angles just for good, um, you know, just to check our work. So we got 36 plus 36 plus 108. So we got 108 plus 36 plus 36. Let's just make sure all this does add up to 180. And if you add this up, you'll see that in fact it does add up to 180 degrees. So there you go. So this is the right answer. And if you got that answer right, then I must go ahead and give you a good old 1985 flat top haircut. Now, if you watch some of my YouTube videos, uh, you know, I'm, uh, you know, really kind of bring up that hairstyle in the 80s. I guess it's, you know, uh, what happens when you get older, you get a little nostalgic. But that was a cool haircut, okay? And um, what is even cooler is your ability to uh, solve this problem. So nice job. Very, very good. Um, but these type of problems, whether it be a triangle or a rectangle or a quadrilateral, this is a very classic type of problem that you're going to see on a lot of different type of tests. A lot of these tests that I've um, talked about here, standardized tests or just um, tests that you're going to be taking for college entrance certification. Some of you might be thinking, well, I'm not going to be taking any of these tests anytime soon. No, most of you will be taking a test like this. So if you're going to go into, whether it be nursing school, if you're going to college, um, you're like, I don't need to take the SAT, ACT. No, but you're going to have to take an, an exam like the Alex or some sort of uh, AccuPlacer for your college uh, placement. So again, this is a typical type of problem that you're going to see on a lot of variety of tests. But um, hopefully this little video helped you out. And if that is the case, go ahead and consider helping me out by smashing that like button and maybe even subscribing to my YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos from basic math to advanced math, like calculus and everything in between. So if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of all those videos that I post and have posted. I, I make them for you. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.